What is going on guys? In today's video, obviously if you can tell by the title, it's not going to be about cars. Uh, once again, I'm sorry. I'll be back soon. Today's video is me just showing you guys my new bedroom modifications that I have done to my room and like cool little things that I have added to my setup, my workbench, workstation, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is where I edit my videos. This is all my, where all my productivity comes from, photo editing for Instagram, all that stuff. All of it, all right here. So I thought, hey, why not organize the crap out of this and make it a very livable place? So then that way I don't have all this clutter in my head. So for those of you that are looking for motivation, try and cleaning, try just like either cleaning your room. If it's already clean, then try to organize it better than it already is because that just helps your creativity just flow. So let's get right into this. So I got this little gray chair to uh, match my walls. Um, it's like a gaming racing seat thing mixture. It's comfortable. So that's all that really mattered to me. I didn't care about looks. I cared about it being comfortable. So huge shout out to Staples for making this chair cheap. I was about to make it seem like Staples sponsored me. No, Staples did not sponsor me. But huge shout out to Staples for making this chair cheap and easy to build. For those of you guys that have been watching my channel for a really long time, you have been roasting me and ripping me about my chair being completely destroyed. So your boy finally got a new chair. If you know the significance of this chair and me getting a new one, I love you. So I got this new desk. Um, I don't have the glass corner table anymore. I was just not digging a corner anymore. I feel like it's a nice wide table would just be a lot easier. This table isn't crazy huge. It's just a nice length. It's good enough for my productivity. It's good enough for me to work with. Um, normally this controller's here. As you can see, I'm very like OCD about where everything is because it just makes it easier for me to stay organized. So my tip for those of you or to you that aren't organized, a good way to stay organized is having accountability and knowing where things are supposed to be. So if you have a place for things it's easy to stay organized you know i always keep and make sure that my airpods case is right here my controller goes right there you know my keys and wallet are always over there right now my bed's a mess i just got home but normally it goes on that nightstand stuff like that so my whole bedroom's been like cleaned and remade remaked over remade over whatever that closet used to be here and this bed used to be there but now i swapped it so it's a little nice little cozy setup now i really also wanted to do this uh setup upgrade because now when i'm making videos inside the house it's like a nice little cool background another thing i did was i kind of made this shelf thingy so i can put my xbox up here um even though i'm done playing halo but you you know, you never know if I might start playing again. Um, I, as messy as this looks, this is actually pretty organized for what it is. It's all things that I might need in, from time to time. This is my camera bag with all my camera lenses. Um, trust me, everything's organized for me in my eyes, in my mind. So I've had this keyboard for a while. Um, it's a Razer keyboard. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you guys like this, it was really cheap. It was literally only 50 bucks at Best Buy. So sick keyboard. You can completely customize how you want the lighting to work, the RGB to work. Another thing I bought is this Corsair mouse pad. It's really sweet. The, the trim of it lights up in RGB. You can also customize this to be static, any static color you want. So like white, green, red, whichever color you want, you can keep it one color. You can have it rainbow crazy like I have it right now. I, it goes upon my mood. Sometimes I just want it to be stay white. Normally, I normally have it just stay white because it goes with the whole theme of the build, you know, the, the white controller. It just looks cool. But right now, I have it on rainbow for whatever reason. I was in the mood for rainbow. For whatever reason, I also have this Corsair mouse, which is synchronized with the lighting of the mouse pad. Um, I don't remember the model of this, but I will also leave a link in the description. My PC is running an i7 8700K processor, and this Corsair AIO, this... No, sorry, not an AIO. It's a water-cooled loop so i think it's considered an aio yeah i can't remember but cooling that i700 is that corsair aio and it's synchronized with the lighting of the mouse pad so that's really cool obviously something that nobody would even notice so it's just for me and my sanity i just like that it's synchronized another neat addition that i definitely needed for my setup was uh this wireless charger now one thing was while i was gaming i couldn't have my phone near me because my charger would be all the way over there so i'd have to get up if my phone was at like two percent i couldn't keep it near me and i had to keep it charging it would have to also be all the way over there so now i just put my phone down right here and I charged my phone on my wireless charger. This wireless charging pad was 50 bucks from Best Buy and it is Belkin. Not a bad wireless charger in my opinion. It charges it up pretty fast, so that's great. Some of you might be wondering, what is this white thing? This is my Astro A40 mix amp. These are my gaming headphones and I added a little, little nail right here so I can hang the Astros right there. But since I pretty much have quit gaming, um, it's really literally no use. Those will never be used again, but who knows, you know, you, ne you never know. I could play from time to time, you know, maybe I'll start playing Forza 
videos again, who knows. I have three 23 inch uh, Acer monitors all working simultaneously. So if I do open a window and I drag this here, it's connected all together, which is sweet. Very cool for productivity. Initially, uh, for those of you that are wondering what, what's the point of three monitors, why should I get three monitors? Should I get three monitors? Uh, for productivity sake, yeah, you should. It helps your, it cuts down your, your, your work time like by 50% at least, two monitors. Three is kind of overkill in my opinion, but you could run two, two is good. You know, you can have two things happening at once while I'm editing. Having two is just, at this point it's mandatory for me because like I just cannot edit without two monitors. So normally I'll be playing Xbox on this screen and I'll have the computers actually mostly working with these two screens. So that's neat. So yeah, for those of you that are actually considering getting multiple monitors, go for it. It's, it's really good for productivity. Another cool thing is that these AirPods are the second generation AirPods, so they actually come with wireless charging. So it actually works with this wireless charger. So that's neat as well, which is cool. So yeah, that's cool, I guess. But yeah, so moving on with the bedroom mods, I also got this new uh, dressing table, if you may. Um, I have a mirror up on the wall, so I just got this three drawer thing. Um, helps me keep my clothes organized and stuff. And I have the top just clean as I can make it. So just less clutter. I threw out a lot of things. I threw out a lot of old OEM BMW F30 parts. I threw out a lot of just so much car parts it was just crazy my room was so cluttered it was like cluttering my mind I just did not like I was just not motivated to keep my room clean because like everything was just such a mess so for those of you that are watching this video and want to have a sick cool setup like this I'll leave the links down below in the description for the keyboard the mouse pad the mouse and I'll try to get the link for the monitors they're not expensive either all this is all very inexpensive the table I was bought from Ikea also pretty inexpensive under $200 the only thing expensive here is my computer Honestly, the only expensive thing here is my computer. Like my computer has six specs, has 32 gigs of RAM, thousand gigabyte SSD. Like it's it's ready to go for editing. But everything else here is pretty cheap. Like relatively cheap. Like the wireless charger, the keyboards, the mouse pad, the mouse, the monitors, the, even the speakers. Like all cheap stuff. Nothing crazy. You can have a nice cheap six setup like this and it's not crazy amounts of money and you can still make it look nice. I do plan on getting some nice LED strips for the back of the table so it looks cool and it shows like, illuminates like LEDs on the wall. So that's pretty cool. If you guys want to see that, I will make a video on that for sure. So you guys probably saw my last video. I showed Google turning my lights off for me. Um, I got these two smart bulbs for my room. Uh, Basically, I can control or ask Google to change the brightness of the bulbs. I can ask her to change the color of the bulbs, which is pretty neat. Check this out. You can go candlelight, <laughs> incandescent, warm white, cool white, daylight, and ivory, which is like Apple Store. I call it Apple Store because it's just so white. It's like a tube light. So I normally run it on incandescent because that's like the most closest thing to a regular bulb. Um, candlelight is when I want to go to sleep. I can also adjust the brightness. And you guys saw my last video, I can ask Siri to, I mean, sorry, not Siri, I can ask Google to turn off the bulbs for me, which is sweet. 100% and white. So I keep it on ivory whenever I'm filming, I guess. So starting from today, whenever I'm filming a video, whether if it's daylight out or not, I will have these bulbs on. So it helps my brightness a little. I will be getting a new stand-up light for, cause I'm gonna be starting to film a lot more indoor videos. If you guys are wondering, the cinematic shots were shot in the day. I had to go help Rob um, part out his F30. So a uh, huge thing on that later. Um, so I parted that out and then I came home. Now I'm continuing to film this video. So. Huge news with me, I actually got accepted and got a job offer with a job I applied for and interviewed for. Killed the interview, I guess, and I got replied for a job offer, so things are looking good, things are looking bright, you know, I'm just getting back on my feet. So once I'm back, I'll be back for sure. So you guys know when I come back, like I, I, I go I go hard, you know, I go hard in the paint. So yeah, pretty much just about does it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know this was like a tech type video and it wasn't very carish, but I know a lot of you got some, you know, a lot of you got your man caves, you know, when we're not outside driving our cars, driving our beamers, you know, doing car stuff, you know, we got, we come home, right? We got to come home eventually. And we got to, you know, chill in our man cave. So why not have a nice modified man cave that looks, you know, it's a, it, that's a nice place to be. You know, that's the goal. You want to be, in a nice place when you're in your room, you know? I know you guys are digging this chair, not being crazy ripped, but oh well. That chair was a classic. Rest in peace to that chair, which by the way was also from Staple. But anyway guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video like this, let me know down below in the comments. I will make sure to make some more like this. But anyway guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, peace out.